Hey, it's Ashlyn, and this is the lore of every brawler in Brawl Stars dumbed down into just a few seconds. Although there is no official written lore of every single brawler yet, there are a lot of theories, backstories, hints, and speculations. So I'm going based off that. Let's get into it. Shelly, pretty lady from the Wild West that runs around robbing people with a shotgun, but she never actually gets in trouble because the rumors are that the local sheriff has a little crush on her. Colt, a pretty boy that is the town sheriff in the Wild West and is a little too obsessed with his own looks. He may or may not also be a model or an actor. Spike, living cactus that got his eyes carved into him by gunshots accidentally during a brawl between two cowboys in the Wild West. Nita, a little girl that was raised in the world of shamanism and uses her pet or spirit bear to fight her opponents. She's also kind of a pig. Bo, an eagle hunter, shaman, and the best bowman any tribe has seen. He may also be the parent to both Leon and Nita. Leon, chameleon boy that has super ninja abilities enough to make him go invisible. He is also the brother to his sister Nita. Jessie, the daughter of Pam that is an aspiring mechanic and builds weapons from the scraps that her mom brings home. She is also extremely messy, hence her name Jessie. Pam, mother to Jessie and creator of Nani, Pam is a tough lady that goes out hunting for scraps in order to make her creations and fight her opponents. Nani, cute little robot created by Pam to act as a nanny for her daughter Jessie. She also comes with a remote controlled explosive spy cam named Peep. Carl, nerdy geologist robot boy that loves riding around in his minecart while he works at the gem mine. Dynamite, an old retired gem miner with a pet canary that still likes hanging out in mines and blowing stuff up. Jackie, grumpy foul mouth driller lady that works in the same gem mine Dynamite worked in. Brock, a young lad that loves arcade games and his rocket launcher, but also secretly is a dancer and loves being on the dance floor. 8-Bit, old outdated little arcade machine that comes to life and destroys others with his lasers to prove that he's still capable despite being so old. Rico, formerly in love with a vending machine, Rico is a robot lover boy known for his trick shots. He is now happily in love with Piper. Tick, scarily happy little robot pirate boy that has cannons for arms and self-destructs his own head when scared. Daryl, pirate robot made from a barrel that is the captain of his ship. He will do anything to defend his ship and his treasure. Penny, pirate girl that loves gold coins, bombing things with her cannons, and she is the trusty sidekick to Daryl. M's, half zombie, half mummy teenage girl that is obsessed with modern day social media and Poco. And she is the face of her Z branded hairspray. Frank, Franklin, named after Frankenstein, living around the mortuary, is former roommates with Mortis and a well-known DJ. Mortis, oddly old and creepy man that works at his mortuary preparing bodies for their burial. He is also the uncle to M's. Bull, angry reckless buff man that owns a diner called Bull's Diner in Retropolis, also part of a biker gang with BB and Crow. BB, hardcore but cute girl that loves baseball, bubblegum, and her bat named Mr. Bat. She owns Mr. Bat's home run ride in Retropolis and she is part of Bull's gang. Crow, biker crow, part of the Retropolis gang, that kind of just appeared in town one day. He used to get picked on, but not anymore now that he has his poisonous daggers. Barley, a bartending robot that has kind of a short temper and isn't afraid to throw his bottles around, causing mayhem. He also owns his own bar called Barley's. Piper, classy and cheerful baker that bakes grenades. She is also deeply in love with Rico. Byron, shady scamming salesman that sells potions that claim to heal you. Rosa, a boxer that is also a scientist that studies plants alongside her assistant. She has survived in the jungle by punching deadly plants in the face. Her favorite plant is of course a rose. B, girl that studies insects is incredibly obsessed with bees and is the assistant to Rosa at her botany lab. Sprout, cute creature that was created by both B and Rosa in their lab by mixing both nature and technology. 
Hilco, a dead Mexican musician, part of a mariachi that disbanded, but continues to play his deathly guitar trying to win back his fans because he lost them to a rival band. El Primo was a regular dude until he was hit by a meteor which gave him superhuman strength, so he became the ultimate luchador. Amber, performance artist at the Mexican festival called Poco's Bandstand, known for her subpar fire dancing. Tara, fortune teller that uses tarot cards to predict the future of those that walk into her fortune telling business located at her bazaar. Jean, genie with magical powers that owns a gift shop called the Lamporium in Tara's bazaar. Sandy, tired boy cursed with eternal sleepiness that owns the flying mattress ride at Tara's Bazaar. Max, super speedy and crazy hero of Super City that owns her own brand of energy drinks called Max Energy. Meg, vending machine repair girl living in Super City that aspires to be like Max but she's not quite ready yet. Surge, robot protector of Super City that gets his feel to operate from energy drinks. It may or may not be the same energy drinks that Max uses. Edgar, just your typical rebel emo boy street punk working at a gift shop that attacks anyone that gets too close with his animated scarf arms. Griff, greedy little owner of Star Park's gift shop and the boss of Edgar and Colette. He is always mad that business is bad. Colette, psychopathic girl that documents her obsession with every other brawler in her scrapbook. She is especially obsessed with Spike. Oh, and she works at the gift shop with her boss Griff and co-worker Edgar. Mr. P. Angry little penguin that owns and operates a hotel called the Snow Tell. He works as a lead bellhop, carrying guests' suitcases and escorting them to their rooms. Gail, old and slow little man that works as a janitor at Mr. P's Snow Tell. Lou, snow cone machine that sells, well, <laughs> no cones, working at Mr. P's Snow Tell. Ruffs, Intelligent dog that walks on two feet and is a colonel of the Star Force spaceship. His arch enemy is Eve. Squeak, an alien being that evolved from the drool on Ruff's dog toys when an incident occurred during a Star Force mission in space. Eve, a tiny alien flea that flies around in a spaceship and is a mother to an unlimited number of babies that are actually parasites ready to infect any brawler, especially her arch enemy, Ruffs. Stu, robot's uncle and caretaker to Bonnie and Janet. He's also an award-winning performer at the stunt show with his nieces. Janet, teenage girl that does stunts with her jetpack and is the main star and singer of the stunt show. Bonnie, little sister to Janet and niece to her uncle Stu. Bonnie is always getting in trouble with her canon named Clyde during stunt show performances. Fang, a young lad that works at the Turbo Movie Theater. He's an aspiring actor and talented kickboxer. Buster, just an ordinary guy that wants to be an actor in his own blockbuster movie, but sadly, he just operates the projector at the movie theater. Macy, a young lady that is a safety and maintenance worker at the Turbo Cinema. She's apparently the only responsible one between her, Buster, and Fang. Grum, buff Russian dude that works at the amusement rides in Star Park and is absolutely traumatized by children, so he wears a hood that covers his face to hide his fear. Ash, extremely grumpy Scottish creature that is sick and tired of all the litter and rats at the castle courtyard, so he protects himself by using a trash can as protective armor. Hank, little shrimp man war survivor that was being prepared in a kitchen to be eaten, but he escaped and survived to become the fish tank commander supreme in the depths of Star Park. Otis, a deep sea diver with a starfish pal named Sil that enjoys creating graffiti all over Star Park. Belle, criminal, fugitive, and leader of the Gold Arm Gang. She is also a mother to a son and the wife to Sam. Sam, another outlaw, criminal, and fugitive that hates all robots in Star Park. He works in the Gold Arm Gang with his wife and partner in crime, Belle. Gray, silent film actor much like Charlie Chaplin. He works in Brawlywood alongside Lola. He takes his method acting a little too seriously. 
Lola, diva, actress in Brawlywood and part-time guide that is the main star of Star Studios. She might be a little too obsessed with herself and definitely has an evil side. Chester. Chester is the jester or professional joker at Candyland. He's always trying to pull pranks on Mandy. Mandy, the queen of Candyland and Menace, disguised as a sweet, charming girl. She sells candy with her assistant, Gummy Baronita. Buzz, cool dinosaur lifeguard that loves dancing and singing and works at the Velocirapids water park. He's not that good at his job, but loves bossing people around and enforcing rules. Doug, the most chill and calm dinosaur that loves hot dogs and works as a hot dog vendor at the Velocirapids water park. Weird little ghost kid that runs around in his PJs. The only place he doesn't go is outside because he's stuck in the train station ever since he followed a balloon dog and got lost. RT, cassette player and the official CCTV or spy cam of Star Park. Reporting to, well, we have no idea. Cordelius, aggressive little creature that lives in and takes care of the enchanted forest by planting poisonous mushrooms everywhere. Willow, manipulative lagoon creature that is the guardian of the Tunnel of Love located in the swamp near Mortis's mortuary. Although I don't think her definition of love is the same as anyone else's. That's all the lore that I have today. I did a lot of digging and research for this video, so if you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.